this time. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we're uh, here at the Emerge, and uh, yeah, something is fucked up, obviously. So uh, we're gonna go in and uh, get it checked out, and I figure I might as well uh, record the process and uh, take you guys through it and show you uh, whatever the results are, how bad it was. Uh, I think it was probably a full rupture, and uh, yeah, it's interesting how it happened. Uh, Alex and I will uh, now analyze the uh, the match as soon as possible. Kind of go over what went wrong but first uh, let's see how bad it is all right head into a merge all right guys so we've been here for about two hours now and uh just got a like actual physical checkup from the doctor and yeah it looks like it's more likely definitely torn he's just gonna um, possibly definitely possibly uh torn so he's just gonna also do an x-ray uh and then the ultrasound now just to make sure that there's nothing else uh going on or flipped up and uh yeah so we will uh probably be getting scheduled for surgery in a couple days um but uh yeah more info to come all right guys so we got out of the hospital now and uh i still got to get an ultrasound so they did an x-ray nothing broken as far as bones go which is expected um but uh yeah pretty much confirmed that the uh, tendon is ruptured and i will need a surgery so they're gonna they here in canada the way they have to do it is they have to confirm that with an ultrasound and then once it's confirmed with the ultrasound they can go ahead and book the surgery so i'm probably not going to be able to get the surgery for a week or so um they said it'll get done within two weeks which is like vital because if it doesn't then it's obviously it's uh, more problematic to uh, reconnect it um so yeah that's uh where we're at now um and i guess we'll just continue to update on the journey um and uh, i'll go over what i'm going to do for training and everything to uh sort of compensate from this i was planning on um sort of gaining some size and and strength over the next uh like couple months and then doing a cut but i guess i'm just gonna start cutting now and uh go the uh uncle john route let's see how lean we can get maybe i'll try to make the 242s no that's a joke but uh we're gonna just uh try to get lean and uh pumpkin arm the right and uh yeah make the best of uh shitty situation so lemonade out of lemons all right here we go Peace. all right guys uh morning after and uh just waking up and looking at some of the bruising and it's actually not that bad just that one little spot there uh which is really cute um the pain is definitely starting to set in i can definitely feel it if i try to move too much pronating really hurts supinating feels fine um so probably because I was kidding, moving something with the pronator attaching to the bicep, something in there might have given. Not really sure. When it was happening, I felt really strong, like felt totally good. Um, as I said, we're going to do a review kind of going over what happened, but the, so many people have seen the video now watching it on Devin's channel. Um, just uh, to note what was really happening was there's kind of that dead zone in the king's move like between when i'm close to my pin pad and then getting a stop uh close to his pin pad and uh in that range usually it's really soft um and i don't usually fight too hard through that range uh but i've been practicing like trying to stop people through that range more which looking back on it when you're doing that you're, i'm literally stopping them with just my bicep like as if i was hanging on to a dumbbell like on a end of a preacher curl bench or something um and obviously with guys that i can handle that works and and uh and it tires their hand out more so by the time they do get to the hard stop close to the pin pad uh i've taken more of their hand and um you can see in the video on devin's first hit i do take his hand a little bit and he comes back it was a genuine stop uh he said he was afterwards he was like dude i was trying to kill you <laughs> which is what what i expected i wasn't upset about that i told him i was trying not to die and um and that's that's basically what happened so um you know he was just too much uh for me to hang on to going through that range of motion and you can see it i felt cracking and popping and then you can see the big pop on the next drive and i'm like even by like it just happened so fast i was already kind of giving up by the second one but obviously hanging on enough and he was going hard enough that it, i don't know if it popped on the first or the second it's hard to tell it was all happening so fast but um but yeah it was uh it, you know the king's move is dangerous and i don't have a bone lock and even if i do uh 
the way I was trying to hold in that part of the range of motion, uh, clearly not a great idea. And the way that Devin is dealing with the King's move is different than he has before. He's got through my left hand King's move, obviously, every time he pulls it, but he does it a little differently. The first time, uh, like the first few times he's done it, he has, he's working through it more. He's always pretty aggressive with it when he gets like, once he gets a stop on a King's move, or at least on me, he's, he always kind of smiles at me and goes, all right, you're ready, you better ready for this now. And then he'll kind of go ham on it until uh, I pop up or, or give up. Um, but this new thing where he'll kind of like cock all the way back and give up all this pressure and come like right to your pin pad and then blast through again um, is, is really new. And, uh, and it makes me feel like I've got something by like, okay, he's on my side of the table now. I'm going to try to figure out how to keep him there. Um, and uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a good way to deal with the King's move, I think, that he's uh, got. He said he kind of figured it out, uh, King's moving Eric Spoto, which is really cool. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it's going to work on Mike if he's going to do that. But again, it's just part of the process of figuring out how to deal with this move and the fact that I can do it and do it relatively well. Um, you know, just gives him a mental exercise of what other ways to get around it. Um, and this is an interesting way to do it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the result is going to be more blown biceps, but, um, but again, because of the position of my body and where I'm in, uh, the move there and the range of the range of the move that he's trying to pull through and that I was trying to resist from, uh, was, was not good. Um, hindsight obviously that the, the one of the things that's interesting about the king's move is that it is very soft through the top through the center of the table which is what confuses people um and i think and i was trying to stay strong through the center of the table uh with the wrong angle i think now looking back on it um but we'll get the surgery it'll get reattached it'll be stronger than it was before and uh you know now i get a chance to giant pump in my right arm and just another part of my journey <laughs>